Greetings, old school magic players, and welcome to the Four Horsemen. Greetings, old school magic players, and welcome to the Four Horsemen on a Saturday night. I'm the Chadster. I'm here with John Eckleberry. Hey, John. What's up? What is up? Another Saturday night of magic is, is what is up. Tonight, we are going to be playing some Fallen Empires 40. John has his deck ready, and I have my deck ready. We're going to be jumping over here. Uh, John, you played in the last tournament. You did pretty well with your, your Thrills deck, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I made it to the uh, made it to the top four. And then I uh, stumbled against uh, another another Thrills deck. And oh. which I went on to win Thrill, the tournament. Thrills versus Thrills, um, eh? Yeah. And it's interesting because uh, last year... We have what I like to call the uh, the Thrill Winter, where uh, <laughs> Thrills won three three months in a row, November, December, January, and then they didn't win again until this month. So this is exactly one year later. Thrills are back on top. Ah, uh, Thrills are back on top. That sounds like the, a good name for like an adult video. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so. Uh, I also uh, played in the last tournament, and I did really good in the first few rounds, and then, um, actually, you just crushed me. The 2-0 the loss that you and I played was what prevented me from moving forward, because I, I did really well in all my other matches. I just couldn't beat the Thralls deck, man. It's so strong. It's it's pretty good, and I think in this particular variation where we splash the dark, mm -hmm. it's very good, because... The, typically, if you're only playing with Fallen Empires cards, decks with Hand of Justice are pretty hard to fight against. Yeah. But when you have targeted pieces of removal in the dark, like uh, Fissure and Ashes to Ashes, uh, I don't care if you play Hand of Justice, I'll just kill it before it can be activated. You know, and, and Ashes to Ashes itself just really became a card to play around. Like, in a lot of my matches this past month, um the strategy was just to play one creature and keep beating in with it because you didn't want to play two because mm -hmm. then your guys both just get smoked. Oh yeah. You know, and it's, uh, yeah, it was, it was good. It's, it's a good format. I really, really enjoy it. Um, I'm going to play, uh, this, this coming month that we're testing for right now. Yeah. Um, for February is, uh, unlimited dark cards. Cause it's the finale of the, uh, the splash of the dark right right and so i think i only have like i think i might only have eight or ten fallen empires cards in my deck this month oh wow. um, they're almost they're almost all from the dark um i also suppose i could just play the stack of 16 aola piles <laughs> yeah that would, be, so, that would be all right so this is so your I special guess, these are your special art alio piles right so these are um, these are the original, of course, from yeah. Fallen Empires. These are the FE40 promo That's file the, yeah, that you sent me Michael T of did the art for. Yeah, it's got art from the comic book. Um, these are Anthony and Michael Russo had these printed up. They are painted out to be full art, and then he made some proxies oh, cool. from the original. And then uh, this is the newest one. I did a whole bunch of car comic art promos. Yeah. Um, a bunch of different cards and I, I redid the pile to recenter the recenter the art and then also to kind of cut out uh, one of the comic panels is kind of coming out you can't really see it really good at this distance the color but, looks more vivid too um, yeah the color is also more vivid um, oh cool absolutely um so okay. these are going to be um so this is interesting we'll look at the backs of these cards michael um he stamps his with the Northern Paladins stamp, yes, and then yes. he, he dates them when he sends them to you, so you know, you know when they were printed and when you got them. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. Hi. Yes. Do you want to sit with me? Uh, the the Michael Fee version I did with the Wyvern back. <laughs> That's same awesome. As, same as I did with the um, the Fallen Empires tokens. Yeah, I really those, dig that. Those are great. 
And then, and then this one here is a promotional tool for the uh, the FE40 World Championships. Oh yeah, that's which the in person March 30th in Ohio. Oh, you're gonna be there, right? Oh, I'll be there. <laughs> I'm gonna Man. win too. Probably uh, not, but we'll see. Dang, that's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh, baby, what's going on? Do you want to sit with me? Do you want to play a game with me? Did you? Okay. Your lucky coin. Here, you can have this one. Isn't then you it want a little late for movie? Maggie to be up? <laughs> oh yeah, she just woke up and came in here. Oh shit! Yeah, we put Audrey down to bed a while ago, so I'm like, wait a minute, it's like 10:30 Central Time. Yeah, it's late here right now. It's uh, 11.30 almost. Yeah. Well, right. those promos so are need... awesome, man. I think it's really cool what you do for the community. I mean, like, not only the Full Horsemen, but the, the Fallen Empires community. Uh, everybody loves these things, and uh, thanks for, for all you do, John. Do I have some Four Horsemen promos laying around here? I probably do. Uh -oh. I printed a bunch more Rook tokens. Rook tokens. And a bunch bunch more Tetravites. Tetravite tokens. bunch more islands. Islands. I got some brass men. Brass men. Oh, one. those are cool. I got some brass men. Yeah. Um, there's a bunch of stuff. That's but, awesome. Uh, there's some comic art ones uh, for Four Horsemen, too. I did um, a couple Oubliettes and uh, uh, Guardian Beast. Uh, I don't know. There's some other ones in there, but I'll start. I'll start giving those out for the four horsemen. Uh, Man, everybody islands. digs those islands, and um, I think that you know, just having the promo cards in general is, it's just such a nice little perk, and it gives people something to like get get excited about. It It really makes a big difference. I, re I really like it. It's uh, yeah. it's just fun. It's so fun um, we, uh, John's got the four horsemen stamp. I I ordered a stamp for four horsemen, and I ordered it too small. It's a one incher. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> it's, it's like a micro. It's like a micro smudge of the icon. <laughs> it's like oh, man. I was. I was also gonna stamp all over uh, Chronicles of Bujafar, but then when you were like, "It's," I'm like, "I don't even want to destroy that card." <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna yeah. do it. Well, I have a I have a shit ton of Chronicles Abu Jafar's. Um, he is so. mine right here. I have a whole bunch of them in this yeah. box right next to me. You know, he's he's one of those <laughs> cards that like you just wish was really really good, and but like it's just like it's hard to make him good. Well, in formats with no um, swords, mm -hmm. I mean, he's kind of okay. Like he destroys anything he blocks, but. I don't know. I guess if you played like four Army of Allah and like several Jihad, he could be really good. <laughs> <laughs> right? Several Jihad. <laughs> yeah. Launch some several Jihads. All right. So let's get the four. Let's get the, let's get the Fallen Empire's 40 on the road here. I could not make it 40 cards to save my life. I'm at like 50 cards. So um, why, don't, why don't you roll and I'll take evens. Alright, I'll see if I can get you in even. It's a three. Okay, and you can do your right hand on top. Right hand on top. So you made it all the way to the semifinals in the last one, is that right? And Jeff beat you? Yeah, I'm, yeah Jeff beat me. And then he played, who did Jeff play for the finals? I got really frustrated game one, and then game two, we game two, I just absolutely crushed him. It, it felt good. It felt, uh, it's so funny. We had two super lopsided games, mm -hmm. and then we had like a real game mm. for game three that came like right down to the wire Whoa. where he was at one life, and I knew there was a pile left in my deck, and there were only like five cards left in my deck. Right. And like he he blew me out with uh with an ashes to ashes Ooh. at the very end like it was it was pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean I'm almost thinking I should play black white so I could play ashes to ashes instead of black red. Or so so sorry, if you now. if you splash black instead of red, you can play ashes to ashes and you can play armor throw, Ooh. and then you can also play um if you have any, you could throw a champion or two in your sideboard Ooh. to play against the throw. Ooh, yeah, I mean maybe that's better than white red, but let's find out. Okay, um, I got okay. a wacky hand, but I can keep goblins. 
Ooh, of the flarg. The goblins. Go ahead. The goblins are going to be flarging me. Um, Javelineers, pass. See, Javelineers, bad news for me. Bad news, birth. But I, I don't. Right. Uh, Nineteen. I'm gonna get get in for one. Get in for one. And then, since you can just kill my guy anyway, I'm gonna grenade you to the dome. <laughs> All right, I'm at fourteen. Holy shit! Oh my <laughs> Go god! Jesus Christ! That's that's a good start. Um, planes <laughs> attack. Nineteen. All right, nineteen, and then I'll play your. Your special comic edition, Alien Pile. Nice, yeah. nice. All right, pass. Now this is the one that has the art uh, inside the frame. Yeah, but yeah, that's this yeah, was yeah, that's this was, the was your this edition. was your for the first one you did, right? It is. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'll do a pile and pass back. Piles and piles. Okay. Um, Just a plain old. Fe forty five. Yeah, the boring one. All right, I'll attack. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, you hit me for one last turn. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, and then I will play the safe haven. And uh -oh. I'll play another pile and pass. Ooh. Double pile. Just all the piles. I'm gonna make you blow that pile on this javelinier. Nah, I'm not going to do it. Mm. You're too smart and too experienced in this format to make that naive elementary error. Well, there's just too many other one ones I have to kill. Or two ones. Um, <laughs> yeah, or two ones. The knights. Let's see. What do I want to do here? Um, I mean, maybe. No, you've just got piles for days. It doesn't matter. So I'll play... Um, the goblins of the flarg. I'll hold priority. Okay. And I'll sacrifice him. Oh my god. To grenade you for another five. All right, I'm at nine. Holy shit. And then I'll pass back. Jesus, goblin grenade is is goblin grenade restricted? John. Hey baby. Yeah. Is goblin grenade restricted or no? No, it's four this month. Oh damn. All right, I'll attack with the Acacia and Javelin ears. Sorry, I got another one for you. Peter, give him another lucky coin. <laughs> I'll go to sleep and hold your lucky coin. All right, attack with the Javelin ears, John. 17. 17 to 9. Wow, okay. Um, all right, I'll tap 3. And I'll play the combat medic and pass. Ooh, combat medic could be a pain. Yeah, but he doesn't do any damage. They should have made him a one-two. Are you... So let me get this straight. You have two piles, but safe haven doesn't add mana, right? No mana. So you can't activate pile and your javelinier's tapped. My javelinier's tapped. Seems like a good time for a ball lightning, doesn't it? Oh my god. All right, I'm at three. <laughs> Holy shit. Do you want to block with your combat medic so that you're at five instead of three? It's no. up to you. Okay, back to you. Oh my god. Alright. Draw. Okay, I'll play a planes. Thank you for the land. Um Hmm. Okay, I will uh, attack with the javelineers. Too hard. John, I'll attack with the javelineers. 16. Alright, and then um, I will... I will pass. Yeah. Alright, John, you're up. So you have possible combat medic. He costs a colorless one. He away. costs two, yeah, and I have four mana up. And then I've hmm. got the two alio piles, and I can activate both of them. I have three planes and a mountain and the safe haven untapped. 
Mm. So if you got another ball lightning, I will definitely pop his ass. I'll just play another pile. Oh shit. Well that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be game right there. Well, you got the combat medic right now, so oh, I, yeah. I gotta play around it, but I'll pass to you. Okay. I gotta play another planes. Um alright, I'll attack with the javelin ear. He's gotten in for five this game. He's doing his work. <laughs> yeah, but I'm at three. Um and I'll pass. Hmm. Man, that ball lightning and those freaking goblin grenades was brutal. I'll pass with two. Okay. What about baby? It's really late. Alright, I'll attack with the javelin Fourteen. Alright, and I will pass. Okay, you can prevent one, two... I can prevent two damage right now. Um, I've got four mountains... Uh, sorry, four planes and a mountain. And a safe haven. I'll play this goblin digging team, and I'll dome you for five. Oh my god. That Jesus <laughs> Christ. I can't believe they didn't restrict the goblin grenade. Well, this is the only only month that gets let out because it's uh, you know, pretty wild. Oh my god! All right. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty crazy that I drew three goblins and three grenades too, though. Is it? Well, I don't know. That's what that's the theory on this deck. I don't know if I can beat white with all the first strike and all that, but right. we'll see. Huh? I beat it one game. Well. Oh my god, like, that was so much fucking damage. Um, yeah, maybe I... Maybe I need to be running the, um... Maybe I need to be running the, uh... Uh... Pikeman. Yeah, possibly. I don't know. I think Pikeman's really good. Alright, let me try the Pikeman instead of the, uh, Safe Havens. I mean, you might as well give him a shot since this is the last month you can play him for a while. So what happens after this month? Um, next month is just regular FE in preparation for the uh, the live event at the end of the month in March. Okay. Uh, so there's going to be it's basically going to be a test month for people to get their decks ready for that if they're going. And then in April, uh, we will start splashing Chronicles. Oh, okay. Which is pretty sweet. Like that could that could really open up a lot of stuff. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so you can do your uh, right hand on top. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm back and Chad's gone. He's probably getting a drink. I'll get a drink.
So there's more noodles than that to drink. Go ahead and eat your dinner and then put it. You want this in your room? Okay, put it in there. We'll just put your hand back in your car. She's eating her noodle with the tail. Okay, John, you back? I'm here. Okay. <sighs> All right, so I drew seven. I'll take the play. Uh, okay, I'll keep. Yep. All right, I'll start with a planes and a javelinier and pass. Draw and play them out and go ahead. Man, what a brutal game that one was. Holy crap. All right, attack. <laughs> Triple grenade's a little bit rough. Jesus. All right, got you at 19. And I'll play a priest and pass. Priest. Priest. Priest is a good card. He's good. Uh, He's good, but... He's only good late game. Like, he's not really that great early. Well, he's good both, though, right? Because you get your 1-1 one, one for 1. Well, he's early. yeah, I guess. If you get and, him... But then he's a mana sink later. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. But he's particularly useful. I think he's one of the I think he's one of the best cards. I really like him. Yeah, he's pretty strong. Okay, um, I'll attack with these two. Uh, okay, I go to 17. Okay, got you at 17, and... Um, I'll play a medic and pass. <clears throat> mm. Coming out strong. Now, you get... now I gotta decide what to do. Ball cause... lightning, baby. Ball lightning all the way. Do I, kill, do I kill the medic when I can kill the medic? Or... Oh, yeah. He is vulnerable right now. Or do you get in for six? Ooh. Decisions. Decisions. I think, um... Hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one, that huh? Is, that is a tough one. That is a I tough one. I mean, six damage is six damage, and you can always pop him later. I mean, I can't... Oh, I, I, I won't always be able to pop him later, but I do think, I do think I'll go ahead and Yeah, I think there. I think you gotta do it. Alright, I'm at 14. <laughs> you gotta do it early before they can stop it. Yeah, I mean uh, it's three back, it's yeah. three mana and one card for six damage. It's baller. <laughs> it's really fucking. It's baller cool. lightning. Yeah, baller <laughs> lightning. All right, um, all right. I play a planes and I'll come in with these two guys. Fifteen. Uh, yep. You take two and then um, I will play a preacher and pass. You'll play a preacher. I'm going to make you blow that sure. pile now. Um, now you I have to play. I... Cause, Cause, I... Cause, yeah, because now I can steal your goblins or your preachers. Or your uh, ball lightnings. If you don't. Oh, you got another ball lightning? <laughs> but, what if I just, but what if I just play another ball lightning right now? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm at eight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Thank oh you. my god. Okay. All right. I'm at eight. My turn? Yep. Okay. All right. I'm glad I got to land there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. I'll attack with these two. Okay. I go to uh, 13. All right, and mm, yeah, I'll pass. Jesus, oh my God, twelve damage and on turn four—that's crazy brutal. I'm gonna play a goblins of the flag. I'm gonna hold priority and I'm gonna sack him to a grenade. Well, Maybe okay, five. okay, all right. I can't, I can't take control of him. No, no, because there's no, there's no time for you to do it. What do you mean? It's a sorcery. Right, but it's my. I have priority. You don't to make to do a thing. Like I'm casting this. We're not activating 
this is on the stack. We decide if the stack's going to resolve or not. We decide that it does. It's still my priority to do something now. And I choose to cast Goblin Grenade and I sacrifice him. But in response to that, I should be able to preach him as an instant, right? Because this is an instant. When you have have priority, which you don't. Why don't I have priority? Because that's how priority works. It's really, it's, it's, it's the same thing if I wanted to play a card and like use, um, uh, soul exchange or something on it, you wouldn't be able to steal the guy before I soul exchanged it. But wait a minute, wait a minute. But but, but Goblin Grenade is not an instant. It's a sorcery. When I put, that's correct. So when I put this on the stack, the stack is live now. No, he comes into play. Listen, you get to respond to it if you want to. Yeah. You get to counter it or do whatever you want. You're deciding to not respond to it, right? Well, when, when, that, when, he, so, when he comes into play, I can steal him. No, that's not how it works. No? So this is what I'm trying to explain. So you, you're choosing to not respond to this spell, so it resolves. Now, priority is mine again. It's my turn. Oh. And I choose to cast a spell. Which is the Goblin Grenade. And in response, I can't do an instant or an activation? Not with this, because I sacrificed this as part of the cost of casting the spell. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, it was that was an interesting thing for me to try to try to wrap my brain. It, so sometimes you have to do that with fork, too, if you're playing in a in a um Because that because has it's fork. part of the, the casting cost. That's why. Yeah, this one is. This one is. So, like, if this was just, like, I don't know. I don't know what a good example would be. If this was, like, a lightning bolt or something, when this was on the stack, you could then steal this before this resolved. But this is already gone by the time you try to try to steal it. Okay. All right. So, what I can do is I can prevent two of the five damage, right? Yep. All right. So, I'll prevent two. So out of the five, I'll take three and I'll go to five. Yeah. Right. And then uh, I will... Do I use the pile on you? Do yeah, I you can use the, the pile now or... and you can take out the preacher, the medic, or actually anybody. Man. Um... I guess I should probably just prevent one damage, huh? And, and, and just like go to four. So that you can't. You kill. could do that. Yeah, maybe that's a better move because. So, but you can, I can't kill you. So you could still. You could still kill the preacher and any of my one ones. You just couldn't kill the medic. Yeah, I, I think that's a smarter move. So you can still kill the preacher if you want, or the priest or whoever. Hmm. And I'll be at four. Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna do the last points of damage to you, but we'll find out. Um. I think I just leave it out there. Yeah. I don't think I care about it. So All right. Go ahead. All right. Okay. Another planes. That's pretty good, actually. Um, okay, I'll attack with these three guys. Oh, wait a minute. No, you might have a... You might have a dude. So I guess I better just attack with... If you play another ball lightning, I'm toast. Okay, I'll attack with Middle these. 11. I'll attack with these two. Down to 11. All right, eleven to four. Um, all right, and then and then I'll play another preacher and I'll pass. Another preacher, okay. Man, Things are getting out of hand over there. Your deck is deadly, and it yeah, only, it only needs I'm, three. I don't damage. think I'm gonna win this game though. Well, if you get another. Um, well, ball lightning tramples though. That's the thing. It's like, even if you block the ball, is ball lightning restricted? No, not this month. And and oh my god! So ball lightning's not restricted, and neither is goblin grenade. So you could just leave your javelin ear up though, so that if I played a ball lightning, you could kill it. Yeah. Or or if I played a ball lightning, you could just steal it with preacher. Right. So that's why I left the preacher. Yeah. At this point. Uh, I'll play a pile and another pile. And oh pass back. my god! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! Three piles. Okay. Um.
So now you can wax my dudes. So now I need to leave three dudes up. Um, hmm. All right, I'll attack with these two. The priest and the javaniers. I'm at nine. All right. I drank it all. Uh, Here, and then I'm going to play an order of Leafbur. Order's good. And I pass with one. So you can currently prevent two damage? I can prevent two. And I got two preachers, a medic, and, and an I have order. six on board, and you're at four? So yeah. So you, I'm just fucking dead. Okay. So I'll just... Uh, <laughs> Pop a pile on you and pop a pile. Pop a pile. 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 You're just going to pop a pile. Instead of pop a cap in your ass, you're going to pop a pile in your ass. Wow, I think my deck sucks. I don't think your deck sucks, but I do think this deck can be possibly brutal. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe Ball Lightning and Goblin Grenade are not restricted. Like, did you, did you like, lobby for that? <laughs> I just, I just said that this this month, if we're going all dark, everything should just be unrestricted. And they didn't unrestrict everything. Yeah, they, they left all the Thorn Empire things restricted. Yeah, ball lightning's not restricted, which is pretty great. That's that's fucking brutal. I'll be right. Okay, let's try one more. Man, John, I think my deck is just, like, really bad. Well, I mean, I think it's fine. I think you could have just left up the, the javelin here to deal with possible ball lightnings, and then... Oh, I so I misplayed it. I mean, white, white doesn't have anything like ball lightning or goblin grenade. N none of the other colors do. Um, let me think here. Well, I think black gets Ashes to Ashes, which is nuts. Right. Um, white gets, uh... But if you have Ball Lightning, Ashes to Ashes is useless. Oh, yeah, it's not, it's not good against this particular card, no. It's just really good, in general. Wow, I mean, I don't even know what to do I here. want people to play Ashes to Ashes against this deck, though, because it's good. Do yourself another five damage, I love it. Yeah, that, you really do. It's, like, freaking great. Um, like, I just don't even know what to do here. And even, like, Ho Holy Day is, um, it's not an instant, right? Or is it? It is an instant, yeah. It's an instant. Huh. So maybe Holy Day is an answer, but... I mean, I can still do the trick I've been doing where I play a goblin and sack it to grenade, but it's, uh, it's really good. It, it kills it kills ball lightning on the way over. Why would they restrict holy light, but not restrict ball lightning or goblin grenade? I think if if every I mean I would just unrestrict everything. Yeah, and why would you restrict holy light, and, and dwarf and catapult, but not restrict ashes to ashes? Well, ashes to ashes does five damage to you when you play it. So I mean. You can play four of them, I guess. I mean, I I did this month, but you're really you're really gonna get down to the wire where you can't play the fourth one, probably, or maybe even the third one. Hmm. You only really need one most games, though. Yeah, I mean, I found I found that when Fissure and Ashes to Ashes were restricted, I just played two of each, and that was more than enough in a forty card deck. I didn't really need more than that. Hmm. And why have they um, why have they restricted preacher but not these other power cards? Uh, preacher was going to be zero. Uh, zero. Uh, and uh, I just felt like he needed to see play, so he ended up, he ended up at two is where we agreed on. But I would have just let him out at four, to be honest. I yeah. would just let preacher out at four. Hmm. Let him get played. Brutal. Okay. Well. Let's try another one. Okay. 
So this, so the speed is of the essence, which means like maybe playing combat medic is a a mistake because they're just so slow. Well, I mean, it's really hard because you're trying to also play the good dark white cards, right. but I think it's important for you to have a lot of the little like first strikers and stuff too. Right. So, so maybe preacher. Know. It just seems like preacher is like. He's not. He's only good if you have safe haven, and then you have to have the combo. So maybe he's not good. I mean, I think he's a good card. Maybe he's a sideboard card. Maybe. Okay, let's try this. All right. Uh, oh, I should give you a. I should give you a chance to tell me how to cut. Yeah, it's fine. I, who cares? Just what did you do? Did you do left hand or right hand? Oh my god! I'm going to take a mulligan. I did uh, middle. Just uh, just draw seven. Okay. Ooh, this is worse than the other hand I had. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll give it a try though. What? No, no four ball lightnings and three goblin grenades. <laughs> <laughs> like the fact. Here's the thing: if you can actually play forty cards, and play four ball lightnings, a bunch of goblins, and four goblin grenades, like that's unbelievable, right? It, like and the piles, right? So that's crazy. You've got uh, twenty damage and eight is twenty eight, and another twenty four. Like it doesn't seem like they thought the the restricted list through very thoroughly. No, they did, because they wanted to let a bunch of stuff out. I mean, like, there's answers to this deck. There's First Strike, there's Javelinier, there's there's Pile, there's Preacher, there's Catapult. Like, there's lots of ways to... The, the only thing I think is is uh, slightly nuts, but I'm happy to see it, is to actually be able to play Grenade. Because it wasn't really viable in the months with only a 9 splash, because right. you really, you weren't getting enough. And it was also set at 2. Yeah. So... Four grenades is pretty crazy, but ball lightning has lots of answers. All right, I will play a javelinier and pass. Uh, mountain, go ahead. Oh shit! All right, I will play an infantry and attack with a javelinier. Nineteen. Pass. Mountain and pile. Great. Go ahead. Okay. Oh no. Um, Alright, I'll attack with this guy. Uh, one damage? Yeah. 18. Pass. See? You're leaving that. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, dead. I've gotten ball lightning to death. <laughs> now I, 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 um, I've been burned so bad. Brothers of Fire? Oh god. Back to you. Oh no, where's all my land? Um Okay, attack with him. Uh seventeen. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, I will play another one and pass. Another infantry. I I don't know where all my lands are. Alright, I'll um I'll use the brothers to burn the uh, javelin here. Okay, I'll ping you. Alright, and then you can also do... I also take one from brothers. So oh, yeah, 15. so wait, 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 so let's see. Uh, I can't ping the brothers, though. Yeah, so you go to 15, okay. And then I'll play... Um... Do I even play anything else? Yeah, two first strike dudes. No, you have to pay to make these guys first strike. I have to pay one. And I only have one land. I'll play a digging goblin digging team in fast back. Okay. Oh my god. Um I guess I have to just pass. This is uh -oh. horrendous. Just being stuck on one land sucks. This is not really <laughs> good time. Not really a game. Good time. Uh, I'll I'll kill one of those guys and take one, and then um, I'll uh, attack for two. Eighteen. And pass. Uh, 
pass back to you with four in hand. Oh my god, I gotta land. Oh man. Alright, I'll play another priest and pass. Priest. Alright, I'll uh, kill both of you guys, brothers. And attack for three. Back to you. Oh wow, this is really bad. Alright, I'll play an alien pile and pass. There's the pile. Too little, too late. Uh, I don't know what happened to my lands this game. Um, let's get another brothers out there. Let's attack for three. Okay, 13. Um. Oh wait, 12. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, dome you with a grenade for five. And play another pile and pass back to you. Oh my god. I mean, this game is over. Jesus, it's like, it's like, it almost seems like there was a group of people who were like, let's make red unbeatable. <laughs> well, you remember what happened when we played Pauper Red and Four Horsemen, right? Like, yeah. I think that red just has a lot of solid cards in these 40 card formats. I think it's good in every 40 card format there is. I think red is, red is very good. All right, I will kill one of your uh, brothers. One of my bros is dead. And I'll play another alien pile and pass. Oh man, you got another pile. All right, well, brother. <laughs> well, you have two piles already. <laughs> okay. Well, and you've got you're all tapped out and everything. This yeah, I mean it's like a, game over. I'll play another pile. Oh my I'll god. Get you for eight. How, is is your car is your deck exactly forty cards? Yes. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any sense in playing anything other than red. Like, well, this, this I don't deck know. seems I think, really stupid. I think a lot of people are going to be on white this month. I think white is going to be. If, if they are, they're sure. if they are, they're going to lose. Well, maybe. We'll see. Like this deck has no chance against that deck. I think Brothers of Fire is particularly brutal. I've got three of them in the main and one in the side. In case I play against White, I'd probably bring the fourth one in. Yeah, you just have them all. Yeah, I mean, I don't even want to play this deck now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got to, uh, since Maggie woke up, I got to I gotta right. go help get this kid back to sleep. But uh, all right, well, thanks for we will play me, again soon. <laughs> okay, man, have a good night. See ya. Alright, bye.